hat. Oh, Blanche, did you do that? Yeah, I think I made it like that, two that's a, that looks like a lady's hat. <laughs> <laughs> like an old lady's hat. <laughs> we make all kinds of hats. <laughs> all right, well, hey, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is so much. I didn't use it before. <laughs> I'm doing a hat collection, Mom. Hey, everybody. It's me, Blanche. Welcome to Feast in the Middle East. I have a very special episode. Not only is it special because I got Mama Veda here in the house, but because we're going to make one of the biggest specialties in the Arab world called... Shushbarak. Shushbarak, which are dumplings, guys. Dumplings. These We're going to make homemade dumplings. So stick around right here on Feast in the Middle East. <laughs> going to make shish barak or Arab style dumplings popular in Palestine, Lebanon, Syria. And of course, if you want a big collection of my beautiful recipes, just go to feastinthemiddleeast.com where I teach you how to make everything step by step with big glossy color photos. This is a hardcover book, almost 200 pages. Again, feastinthemiddleeast.com took me 10 years to write this for you guys because I care about you so much. So check it out when you get the time. But right now we are going to start this what like really this is really what I call comfort food. Yes. And people have had more time to cook since quarantine, and who knows what's gonna happen in the winter. We wanna arm them with all the tools to make the most amazing food like dumplings, yeah. right? Yeah, this is a dish you could do with your grandchildren, you know, if you wanna keep them occupied in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, and it's very heartwarming and... What are your what's your favorite memory of shush barak, mom? The, my mom making it in the winter time and coming home and smelling the aroma and it's just uh because it is like a soup you know it's very heartwarming so yeah, yeah so we're just why. gonna start with this so i'm just starting with an onion guys i'm just gonna start with one onion which i'm gonna chop very finely thank you mom so that's all we're gonna do right now uh and we are going to use uh, ground beef, but you can use ground lamb. That's going to be the innards, so to speak, the innards of the uh, dumplings. We got our finely chopped you onions. Chop it a bit Just more, chop yeah. it a little more. Yeah, because you know when it's inside the thing, you don't want big pieces. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be crying. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. So how about while I'm chopping, Mom? Let's start with the with the well, let's, uh, well, let's, uh, let's what do you first start do? with the onion. We have to start. So what, right here we have a pat of butter. Pat of butter. I, you might be you asking. You could use olive oil if yeah. you want. It's up to you. Olive oil. I, I like the flavor of butter. It's so rich. The flavor is going to make the meat taste so good. Yeah. Right. So while that's melting, let me just add okay. the onions here. Add the onion. Yeah, just that's perfect. Add it all. Perfect. Is that good enough? No more? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So a small onion, guys, or yeah, no, a half of a large onion. Oh, the oh, rest? Okay. I like, I like that. Onion. Okay, I didn't know if you wanted the onions. It, do, it does cook down. Yeah, it does cook down. So and that's, gives and becomes cam caramelized and so delicious. So while my mom is sauteing the onions, I'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients for the filling. Okay, the ingredients for the filling starts with this is a half a pound of ground beef. We have about a teaspoon or so of lemon pepper. This is totally optional. This is just something my parents love. They love lemon pepper with everything, even their scrambled eggs. Not necessary though. No, no, no. And and we have a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, about two cloves of garlic, finely minced. You could add more garlic if you're a big garlic uh, addict. I'm gonna add it right now. You're gonna add it too to the onions? Yeah. All right, cool. Because. I don't want the onion to cook too much. Anymore. Okay. And then we have a dash of cinnamon. Just a dash, not too much. Okay, guys? If it's too much cinnamon, it will make it taste like apple pie, and we don't want apple pie dumplings. So you tell me, Mom, when you're ready for the ground beef and spices, and we'll add it in. I think we'll add the ground beef right yeah? now. Yeah? Let's do it. All right, so here it is. Here's the ground beef. Break it up. And of course, we're going to also add salt and pepper, right, Mom? Yeah, but let me break up this because we don't want it too complicated. Okay, so let's add the rest of the spices. So here we go. We have our teaspoon of allspice. 
We use allspice in everything. This is what gives it the characteristic Mediterranean, Middle Eastern flavor. I have a teaspoon of nutmeg. We have the lemon pepper, about, let's add a half a, tea, half a teaspoon. Of course, let's add some salt. Let's add some pepper. Not too much because we added the lemon pepper. Yep. And then just a dash of cinnamon. Not too much, guys. Let's let's show how much cinnamon. Like that's it. That's, that's it. it. That like was a barely dash. a hair of because cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon to be too strong. Okay, this has to cool off. Okay, let's let it cool we off. We cannot use it hot. It has to cool off. That's why we did it first. All right. And now we're gonna go to the let's dough. Okay, you so know. let's set that aside. That looks done. It smells okay. amazing. Let's set it aside and it'll cool off. All right, so now we're going to make the homemade dough for the dumplings or the shish barak. And it's very easy, very easy dough. We've got two cups of flour here. It's two cups. All right. You want to add a little bit of salt too? Yeah, a little bit. Add some salt. Like half a teaspoon of salt. Go. Some people like a little salt here, maybe one teaspoon. There we go. And okay. then we have a quarter cup of avocado oil. So I like avocado oil. You could use any kind of vegetable oil you want. The reason why I like avocado oil is the le it's the least processed. And it doesn't have uh, chemical solvents and in it. And the warm water, we need one cup of warm water. One cup of warm water, okay. So now we're gonna add one cup of warm water. Okay. Nice. And we're gonna work it together. So until we have an elastic dough. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a very simple dough. There's no need for yeast or dough conditioners or leavening or anything. It's just dough, water, and oil. That's it. Mm. Three ingredients. Mm -hmm. So now we have a dough that's smooth and elastic, mm -hmm. and we need to refrigerate it for about half an hour. Okay. When you refrigerate it for about half an hour, or you let it sit for half an hour, then it becomes easier to work with. Okay. Okay. Wrap it that way. And just put it in the, just let it sit. Let okay. it sit like that. You know what we can do is demonstrate to them now. If you don't want to use dough like that, if you don't want to go through what we just did, you can also buy wonton wrappers, guys. I swear this works. It works beautifully and you don't have to invest as much time. And especially with people buying up all the flour and yeast and etc. Look at this. I mean, these are well done. They're already measured out. They actually make the perfect size for shishbaduk. So let's just test out the, the theory. Let's, let's, well, let's bring the, the meat. Let's put the, the, the snow bed on top of it. First. Oh yeah. So to the uh, meat mixture that we just had, I'm going to add some toasted pine nuts to the inside. So let's add some toasted pine nuts. There we go. I'd say about um, two tablespoons or a quarter cup. So we just want to put just a little bit, like about a tablespoon worth. Is that a good amount right there, Mom? Yeah. Here, why don't you show your technique? And I think you need to hold it like that and put it on one side like that. You need some water, I think, to work okay. with the edges. Sure. I'll get you some water. There's some water. So what you do is you go like this. A taco yeah see it pulls see you put the water and then you kind of go like this and there you have the hat the hat of the we call them there, there are several names they call them shush barak or shish barak or dinen tad, which is the ears of a cat, or ta'it al Yahudi, or the hat of a Jew the hat of a, a Jew. Jewish I person don't, I don't know how much this looks like a yarmulke guys 
Uh, but they, they do call us uh, Jewish hats, too, so I don't know. <laughs> That's what they call them. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. It's kind of a stretch, but stretch. hey. So you, if you're going to use the wa store-bought wonton wrappers, then use two at a time. Do the taco thing yeah. and then close it, and you can make cat, cat ears or Jewish See, hats or the whatever the heck like a, else you want to make. <laughs> the water acts like a, a binding. A binding. Yeah, a binding. And then you put them in a, pot, in a pan. You put them in a pan like that, mm -hmm. and then, oh, Blanche, did you do that? Yeah, I think I made it like that too much of a That looks like a lady's hat. <laughs> <laughs> like an old lady's hat. Always. <laughs> we make all kinds of hats. And, well, and yeah, oh boy. How did it sound, Blanche? I didn't use enough water. <laughs> I'm doing a hat collection, Mom. That sounds like Don't it. talk to me. We could be doing fashion my designers here. <laughs> We're doing the fashion collection of shish butter. Yeah. So when we want to bake this in the oven, how long do we bake it for? Eight minutes. At what? At 350. Okay, 350 for eight minutes. We're going to keep working on these. You want it others? light brown. You want it light brown. Light brown? Okay, mm -hmm. light brown. Because that'll that, prevent that, it from touch exploding in the sauce, because we're making yeah. sauce for this. What happened with the dough? I mean, it's been sitting it, for half an hour or so, because... Um, We've been yeah. working on the others. Okay, I need some, uh, some something to work on. Flour? Flour. There we go. And we're gonna roll it. You don't want it too thick, yeah. but you don't want it too thin that when you stuff it, uh, it breaks. You know. Let's take a look at two of them together, so I could show you the approximate thickness of what you're looking for. That's, that's ideal. what we want. Yes. So two of these. That's how thick you want it to be, as thick as two wonton wrappers, like that. Yeah. Perfect. See, this is a perfect thickness that we want. Okay. Now, I. Um, for the circle, I usually use like a, around the five centimeter diameter for the thing. This is a little bit bigger. Yeah. And this is an old can that I just cut out and I leave it around for when I make like sometimes uh, dumplings kind of, yeah, or any whatever. Kind of mold. You could also or use a cookies. plastic cup like or this. Or you could use a plastic cup. They're both about the same diameter as you see. Mm -hmm. Whatever works better. Let's see which one works better. And yeah. try to maximize the circles so that you don't, have you to don't waste too much on the side, you know. Do the same thing like we did with the, with the wonton dumplings. And I feel like you don't need to use water as much to seal it shut because it's fresh dough. No, this one you don't need to. So I think, I feel like you don't need water at all. You just use a little bit, yeah. you know. And just fold it over in half like a taco and it, and it just uh, put a little bit in the middle. It goes together quite nicely, actually. And this, uh, children, children, grandchildren, they love to do this kind of stuff together yes. with their grandmas. Yes. Okay, so there you go. Look how easy it is. Very nice. Very easy. And you cinch it so shut. There we go. Okay. It's basically Arab style tortellini. It's tortellini, that's what it is. We already made some and we baked yeah. it so that they can see the consistency and what it looks like. I'm gonna even split one open so you guys can see. So look at that, they're slightly brown. We bake them uh, for just 10 minutes. Eight to 10 minutes, Eight depending to 10 on minutes. the oven so at let's take So one that's how you want it to it look up. like. And it's already intact, you see? And it's perfect, once we put it in the yogurt sauce, it's gonna stay intact and it's not gonna fall apart. You see that? Uh, everything is ready, now we have to do the sauce. Okay, let's do the sauce. So the sauce, I have one, quart of yogurt full please get the full full fat, uh, full fat. don't get uh, don't skimp on the fat this is not the time because it's not it's going to show in the flavor and even the texture too and the texture if you want a nice creamy texture get the full fat yogurt. exactly it's not like we're dumping mayonnaise okay and we have here one okay. egg that has been beaten, beaten. okay very nice. And I'm gonna put in like about a quarter of a cup of water or half a cup of water. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Corn this is what's gonna make it, this is the thickening agent. All right, so yeah, make sure you pre-stir pre it in the water. 
Won't okay, get comfy so that way. Won't get comfy. This is another secret. Very nice. Okay, turn this on. This is the one. There we go. Okay. And the secret now is to keep stirring. Sorry about that, but you do have to do this step because <coughs> if you don't do that, then the, it will curdle. And you'll have scrambled egg sauce. Exactly. And that won't taste very good. Exactly. So, so how long do you stir it for? Until it boils. I don't until know how it boils. long. So while it's boiling, I have some butter here that I can melt. Yes, can you melt the butter uh -huh. here? And, and do the garlic and the garnish. So I have two uh, cloves of garlic that have been finely minced and I'm going to add it to one tablespoon of butter and I'm going to saute it with anything else. Do you want me to add the mince? Just or start no? with the garlic a little bit, okay. but don't burn it. Because yeah, we don't want to burn. And then you add the cilantro. How about mint? Uh, you could add mint if mint? you want, okay. but uh, people usually add cilantro. Okay. I have some cilantro. I really do like mint. You could add it at the very end if you want. If you don't like cilantro, don't add it either. Okay, add this. Let's add about maybe two tablespoons worth. Yeah, there that's we go. it. And Just two tablespoons. Stir it all together. Stir it all together. Bring out the aromatic cilantro. I think that's about it. I mean, you don't want to saute it longer than like a that's minute it. or two, that's two it. max, because otherwise the garlic is going to burn. So that's the topping for the shishbarak soup. Let's add a little bit of salt Let's add here. Some salt to taste, guys. Now, in the old country, in mm -hmm. Palestine, they used to do it with the rock. You know the. It's called. Uh, it's called. Uh, it's, it's, it's called labanij meat. You know, or they yeah. call it. Um, each area calls it different. We call it Lebanese meat. I call them goat rocks. They're like rocks made out of goat, goat cheese yeah. or goat But that's curd. what originally they cooked it But with. I don't like that. But a lot of people like it, but I personally yeah, think it's a little Yeah, a lot of people game. won't have it unless it is with those yeah, rocks. Yeah, and I'm the and opposite. If I, I don't sense that, that the goat rocks are in it, I won't eat it. Because like, you're not, eat, the goat flavor is very strong. very strong, strong and gamey For people me. who are not used to it. So I like the yogurt personally. All right, it's dumpling time. I see the soup is starting to boil. Yeah, it's boiling. See the bubbles? You can see them. Yep. So the bubbles, they're there. Let's so put the just dumplings. add them. How long do you cook it for once you add the dumplings? Not much. Ten minutes or so. That's all. You don't need to lower the temperature a little bit. Sure. I mean, why not to boil over? Sure. And just add them. Oops. Oh. Such a beautiful dish. Okay, and you have to let it cook for 10 minutes. And to more. serve, we're going to put these dumplings here. Wow, these are gorgeous, Mom. Man, when you made this, it was special when we were kids. Put more soup. I like the soup. You like the soup? Let's add some soup. Okay, well, we're not, it doesn't stop there. We yeah. gotta make it pretty. Yeah. So we've got the uh, cilantro garlic mix that we added with the butter. Oh, smell that. And uh, what is the. And just to add a little more flair, you don't have, I have some. Snow butter. Yeah, I have some mint, some chopped mint, because I really do like mint too, just like some fresh mint on the top. You could use dry mint too if you like. And some toasted pine nuts. Yeah. And because in honor of my mother, who would make us such beautiful food growing up, you have to take the first bite. Wow. It's a big bite. You could cut it in half if you want. I can use, I can use <laughs> your own. So, so what do you think, guys? Are you going to attempt to make this? This is perfect food for when you're, uh, like, you have some time. You want to make, uh, mm. isn't it good? Mm. Cooking project for the weekend. It's something kids enjoy eating and putting together. And that's it, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, we showed them the shortcut way and the long classical that's way. So good. Thank you, Mom, for sharing your recipe with us. It's been a blast. I always have fun cooking. Look at that soup, even. That soup is delish with all the fresh herbs. Mmm. Even the soup is perfect. So, 
get the recipes, more recipes on my channel. Make sure you subscribe. You could join me on Instagram at Blanche Media. And leave me a comment. Tell me, what do you think of this shish barak soup? Until next time, zahtan, and we'll see you soon. Enjoy. <coughs> zahtan. Mm. Wow, that's delicious. Yes, that's delicious. Yes, delicious. Another one. Let's show them the inside here. I want to show them like a cross section. Look at that. Look at that. The bowl of goodness with the beef inside. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. The garlic. Mmm. 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 -mm.